Meanwhile, employment of 56,000 teachers, a new funding model for universities and colleges, and review of entry points for teacher training colleges were the highlights of President William Ruto's State of the Nation address on education. The president said the funding model for universities has brought equity, while the review of entry points for teacher training colleges have greatly increased enrollment. The urgent and vexing question of transition to junior school has been settled. And the Kenya Primary School Education Assessment will be used for the exclusive purpose of monitoring learners' progress and not for placement in any grade. In keeping with our commitment, 56,750 new teachers have been employed while 8,200 primary school teachers were retrained to equip them with capacity to effectively deliver learning and teaching at junior school levels. With changes to the entry requirements for teacher training colleges, admission has increased by 300% to now 20,456 trainees. The working party recommended an overhaul of the existing education funding framework to a variable scholarship and loan model in order to address the financing gap which denied many Kenyans the opportunity to pursue the tertiary education in our universities and TVETs, but also created many complications in our universities and institutions of higher learning that by last year our universities had accumulated debts of close to 60 billion Kenya shillings. I sat down with all the vice chancellors of our 41 public universities and we came up with a proposal that we are now implementing. The new model for financial support is student-centered and deploys a rigorous impartial means testing instrument to establish the level of need of every student Leaders drawn from both sides of the political divide have given